Y'all with me today? Yeah. Oh, you're too quiet. I can't hear you. Yeah. Let them hear you on the inside. Yeah. We need some justice. Yeah. Mr. President, don't forget about us. And while you're making your appointments, let them be person sensitive to those persons who are small farmers. And though, although what has happened to black farmers is very egregious, bad things have happened to small farmers all over the country. Small white farmers are suffering. They haven't been too good with the Department of Agriculture either. There's a Hispanic case against the Department of Agriculture that needs to be settled. There's an Indian case at the Department of Agriculture that needs to be settled. There is much, much work to be done. So while the administration is moving forward, we're here today to say, bury all of those hatchets with all of the minority farmers. But let's talk to, for just a few minutes about this $100 million cap, because a lot of people seem confused about that. I'm not confused about it. If you file a motion in federal court and you're the Justice Department, you are the United States Department of Agriculture's attorney. They didn't act on their own. They consulted the Agriculture Department before filing that motion. And I do think at the time of filing that motion in federal court that it was the department's position to limit what they owe the black farmers. That bill, because we have drafted and spent eight years lobbying members of Congress, and there's many CBC members that should be commended, John Conyers and Bobby Scott, uh, who? Oh, Senator Grassley, don't forget Senator Grassley. Man ain't got but two black farmers in his whole state. And he's been an advocate for black farmers. There's some good people out there. Yeah. Republican or Democrat, we'll take the help. Yeah. Either way, we can get it. But the $100 million cap was not supposed to be a cap. It was supposed to be a beginning. And once those 600 farmers went through the process, there was supposed to be an opportunity for us to come back and visit Congress to, for additional funding. The Department of Justice had taken the position that there's only $100 million, and the poor black farmers can divide that up any way they want. And we're saying no to that. We're saying, Mr. President, step up and identify your bill. Step up and define your bill. Tell the Agriculture Department and your Secretary Vilsack what the bill means and how it's supposed to work. Now the department has made some steps in the right direction. I believe telling the good with the bad. They said they're gonna stop the foreclosures and take another look at the 15,000 cases that were on the book. Well, those are things you ought to be doing anyway. But sh without the commitment to pay the black farmers, we consider them empty promises. You have to pay the farmers what you owe them. If you want this issue to go away, then pay them. If you want the news reports to go away, then pay the black farmers. How long do we have to keep coming to Washington I hope this is the last time I got to drag this mule up the road. I spent all day long yesterday trying to get this mule in his wagon because he didn't, he didn't want to come to Washington either. He said, don't folks ain't, ain't paid y'all yet? I thought I was in retirement. 